Okay, hopefully y'all can see me. <clears throat> um, I know I've already put up a video uh, a little while ago. Um, let's see. So I don't have a light right here. For some reason they didn't put a light when they did this little addition. So let me... So, you know I have my TV in, and I have the same as always. So, <clears throat> I decided I was hungry. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to do something different today. And, I, I eat a lot of Mexican food. Um, so, today I'm eating chorizo con huevo. Like, Mexican spicy sausage with, um, Plus, I mean, tortillas that I make by myself. Um, these are blue corn tortillas. And uh, let's see if it's a little thicker. Let's see, get this thin one right here and see first. Um, and I got my coffee, of course. Um, I would have done this in the bedroom, but I don't want to eat on the bed. Let me see if I can turn this other light on over here and see if that might be a little better. I um, doubt it, but I tried. Okay. So, the way you eat this is take a tortilla. And what I always do, what a, this is what I, taught, I was taught to do. Fold it in half. Tear it in half. And you get a half a tortilla. Tear it in half again. And then, let's see if I can put y'all where we can see. You take it. Okay. And you pinch. You off a bite. And uh, then you eat it. So let's see how well this works with my dentures. And no partial, just my front teeth on the bottom and my denture. Um, I hope y'all could hear that since I had my, oops, since I had my hand over the speaker. All right. I was able to bite it off pretty easy. Um, sorry about that. Um, it is still difficult to chew with no back teeth. Um, at least I can taste my food. Um, the difficulty I'm having chewing is the tortilla, not the eggs. Um, the sausages, which they call um, sausage. Um, the sausage is milled up uh, finer than the egg. So... It does try to get stuck behind my denture in the jawline area, but um, I've always heard that. I'm sorry if I'm talking with my mouth full, but hey, I do that on a regular basis. <laughs> um.
uh, now what was I going to say? Oh, I do understand that, um, you're supposed to take smaller bites than what you would with your natural teeth. Um, at this moment, I take normal, normal size bites, um, for what, like, compared to what I, um, bites I would get beforehand, which would be about like this. And because I don't have my bottom teeth. And no. It makes it a little bit easier for me to chew. Because of having that empty space here and the empty space here. Um, okay, give me a second. I'm going to try to turn my table back around because I think I'll have better... Y'all see me better if I turn around since I turned that other light on. <clears throat> Oop. You know what I'll just leave it like that and then once I get finished eating and everything I'll move the table where it's supposed to be uh, I actually have a very small table so it's um, like a restaurant you know two-person table um, That's not the table that I used, that originally had with those two chairs. Um, my original, sorry, turn it this way. Dining room table is this one right here. And it's funny, because that's all the bigger it is. And it's only as wide as my 32 inch TV. Um... It was difficult to use that table um, with the three of us trying to eat at the same time. And uh, when that, oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. When I had that girl staying with me with her kids, you know, she's got three kids and then herself. Um, she needed more space for her kids to be able to sit and eat properly. So this one I had, I've had this table for about a year year and a half almost two years almost two years and for me it works better um it's still fairly small they're about the same size um technically because um they're just shaped different so it just seems like this one has more surface area. When in actuality, it probably, eh, it might, might not. But if it is bigger, um, it's only like a hair bigger. Um, but anyway, I thought that I would go ahead and do this video um, whilst I was in the um, the midst of trying this out because this is the first time I've done this. Uh, ate a tortilla uh, with my denture. Um, I make tortillas often uh, when my husband's around. Um, when he's around, so every day I make tortillas. Uh, when it's just me, like it has been for a while now. Um, I don't really make tortillas that much um because then you got like leftovers and then you put them in the fridge and it's just like weird so I only made like a few um but I figured we'd try this together <laughs> um it is still difficult 
difficult to chew. Um, but it's not like real, real bad. Um, it's harder to chew bread. Um, And that's what I was trying to say earlier when I saw me talking about eating sandwiches. Uh, it's like not just that the bread sticks to your, your denture, um, but it's like trying to chew uh, steak with just your gums, in my opinion. Um, so, I made that last tortilla pretty thick, and I think I'll save that for when I'm not using my teeth. Um, but yeah, um, so, <clears throat> that's what I was trying to say earlier about eating sandwiches, or eating bread. It's the difficulty I have, because it's like chewing a steak with no teeth. A well done steak at that to me I don't know about other folks but to me that's what it's kind of like um I'm gonna say something else and then for what it was. Mm. I can't remember what I was gonna say. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can pull y'all closer. I got y'all sitting on my tortilla cut lid. They're still stuck on there pretty good. Um, and I've only had them in for, let's see. Let's see, I put them in at 740. 940, 1040, 1140. 12.40. So I've had them in for five hours so far. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm eating. I've been drinking coffee all morning, and I had some water this morning. I'm sorry <laughs> if I burp. Um, it's not trying me trying to be rude. Um, and I try not to draw attention to it so by saying excuse me constantly. Um, that's just stomach issues that I have. No matter what I'm eating, no matter what I'm drinking, it happens. And it happens often. I can't stand when things start to get crooked. <laughs> I immediately have to fix them. Uh. Not lifting at all, not even in the back. <clears throat> I've heard that people have a lot of problems with that when they're trying to just chew with their front teeth. Um. So far, I haven't had that. Um, who knows? 
If I continue to eat that way, I probably will. But, um. I can't eat very many tortillas. I could eat like two, three at the max. And that's only if I'm extremely hungry. Like, um, if I eat store bought tortillas, you know, pre made tortillas, for some reason I can eat a whole bunch of them. When I make them at home, I guess because I make them in a different way, um, they're the same size, you know, but when you make them at home, it's just a wee bit different. Um, so you get fuller faster. Um, none of my um, family or um, friends or my husband or my ex-husband or anything like that. None of them have had a problem eating like 10, 15, 20 tortillas. Um, my kids love tortillas, too. Um, when they were small, they used to... Them and tortillas and pancakes. Pancakes were their all-time favorite breakfast. And uh, they loved them some tortillas, too. Um, so I had to make, like, 50 tortillas a day. For all five of the kids that had teeth and could eat. Um, then there was six. Once my um, youngest son was able to eat. Um, and then my ex-husband, which is my kids' father, would eat like 30... 20 to 30 tortillas a day. So, I was making tortillas for about an hour and a half. Because at that time, I wasn't, um, I was just learning, really, how to make them. That was like almost 20 years ago. Um. Now that... <clears throat> I've had a lot of practice at it, and I'm able to do it in a different way. I've learned a way that works better for me. And uh, also, um, since then, I have learned how to make um, flour tortillas also. So, I've learned a lot since then. Um, I don't eat flour tortillas. It's like worse than eating a whole loaf of bread at one time to me. I get full off of a, a quarter of a tortilla. And then I can't enjoy my food. So I don't eat burritos or anything like that. Um... wasn't planning for this video to be very long but and just so y'all can see <clears throat> how much food I've eaten I've eaten around half around a half not quite a half but more than a quarter of what I had um I'm not going to eat all of it I'm about to be done. Oh. Save it for later. Uh, I 
And the only reason why I'm still doing this while I'm eating. And just because. I want y'all to see from start to finish. How well my denture holds up. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm good. Ah, almost dropped my phone. So. Give me a swish of coffee here. Okay. Um, I also do know that um, I still do the same thing. And I've always done this even before dentures. Um, had to I've had to like clinging around even whether it be on or swishing water in my mouth or whatever uh, see see I feel like I have something right here, but I think it was, um, the relighter. Uh. I think that's what it is. Yeah. It's a reliner. <laughs> so, even here, I don't have anything stuck there. Um, but, okay. Still stuck pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. Still just as snug as I was when I put it in. So, there you go. Um, I just wanted to do that show y'all what it was like for for me personally to eat with the denture uh, sorry uh, and then once I get my partial then I will try to do another video um, see if it's any easier but <clears throat> anyways um like and subscribe and uh, those who are subscribed bleh, can't even talk uh, thank you very much appreciate you every day so whatever time of the day you see this thanks for watching and have a good one bye